Welcome back to Project Zomboid. Uh, if you remember the last episode, I had Christopher Irvine, uh, who is out there trying to get a, a car set up uh, so that other characters could finally leave the town of Muldra. Uh, unfortunately, he was bitten early on in his, uh, in his uh, session, and it became inevitable that he was going to die. And so I spent some time off screen uh, playing with him. In fact, yeah, let's have a look. So here he is dead at the back of the truck, but he organized the crap out of that trunk. Uh, he's feeling really, really good about it as he takes his dying breath and becomes a zombie. So, uh, so we're going to load up this, uh, load up this save, start a brand new character. And specifically, I'm going to try to play as a burglar because burglars have the special ability to hotwire cars. Now I've never done that before. I don't know how good that ability is. I don't know if they can share that ability with other people. Like once they've hotwired a car, can anyone drive it? Or are they the only one that can drive it? Am I going to have to like come up with a whole litany of burglars who are just all of my characters from now on? They're all burglars. I don't know, but uh, that's why we're doing this is so I can learn how this game works. So let's play my dead Irvine save. Yes. Let's start in Muldraw, Kentucky. And this time let's play as a burglar. Now, okay, burglars, do they start with a, with a, whatever this is, a crowbar? Or is that just a symbol for burglar? I don't know. Uh, so it's a burglar. He can hotwire vehicles and has less of a chance of breaking the lock in a window. So, oh, and actually you can't really see what I'm doing because I'm up there. Uh, so, yeah, so both of those are very valuable. But because his abilities are so valuable and he's sneaky and he's strong, uh, or she, I don't actually know the gender of this character yet, and, uh, but that means that I have to actually take six points worth of negatives and that's going to be tough. I want him to drive. So I'm not going to give him Sunday driver cause I want him to get somewhere quick. Um, cowardly being like, like panicking more often. I'm not sure what effect that has. I could go with a slow reader. So like they're less likely to, you know, um, they're not going to learn a lot of new skills would be an option. Oh, hey, Rosenberg, uh, thanks for watching my uh, my High on Life video. Yeah, I, I thought it was really funny, too. I was really kind of surprised. I'm used to games trying to be funny and sort of falling flat, and that one genuinely knew what it was doing. Okay, so Dr. Lockenstein says that short-sighted and weak stomach are their favorite detriments. Let's try those two. So, weak stomach. That gets me down to negative one. So, maybe what I'll do is I'll grab Speed Demon so I can drive a car faster than usual, and that leaves me with another two that I need to... And then I'll grab Slow Reader. Okay, so we're going to have a burglar who has a weak stomach, is short-sighted, which I think means I can't detect zombies as far away. Um, they're a Slow Reader, probably because they don't have their glasses. Um, but they're a burglar, and they drive fast. So my goal is going to be to try to get this person into a working car with gasoline. That's my goal. We'll see how likely I am to achieve that. Okay, so this is Lenny Dion. I, I like to leave the characters as generated as, as much as possible, so we're just gonna we're gonna keep Lenny Dion. He except he weirdly looks he looks a little too much like Christopher Irvine, actually. Let's let's at least mess with his hair color. Make him blonde. Um and what's it? Oh, oh! Oh that's lovely. Okay, yeah, this is this is a beautiful, beautiful man. You, you know who this looks like? This looks like um what's the name of that rich dude who owns like all the companies that are called Virgin? That guy, that's who that looks like. Richard Branson. It's like a Richard Branson here. <laughs> Lenny Dion, my burglar. These are the end times. As always. There was no hope of survival. This is how you die. All right, let's kill the tutorial. So here I am, Richard Branson, in my Richard Branson house. Let's have a look at where I am relative to all the other stuff that went on. Hit the C button. Okay, I'm kind of far away. Okay, so I found a pristine car in excellent condition, but it had no gas. And uh, I, I, at least I'm pretty sure it had no gas. And it had uh, no keys. So, but it was a really nice car. And I kind of like this car. Over here... This is where um, uh, where Christopher Irvine died, and this is also where uh, where uh, Felicia Hamm died. And they've left a bunch of stuff. There's a gas station here, and I've actually already collected some gas. So what I think I'm going to do is head due north, try to collect the gas, and then head east and try to use that gas to hotwire this car. 
Now, if I encounter another car that I can hotwire along the way, that will only make this happen faster. But I'm not going to get my hopes up that that's a thing that's going to happen. Let's do what we always do, which is equip our weapons that came with the character. Now, I'm playing on builder difficulty. Um, are these weapons only given to me at builder difficulty? Like, would I start with absolutely zero weapons if I was playing at, at, at the harder difficulty level? Because at some point, now that I've actually learned to play the game a little better, I feel like that might be something I want to do, is, is try that harder difficulty level again and see if I can uh, if I can make it, you know, with that, <laughs> with all of its difficulties. Okay, so, oh, we've got a bunch of curtains. Well, let's, uh, let's remove these curtains, because we're not staying in this house. But we could use these curtains somewhere else. Okay, so those go automatically into my regular inventory, because, yeah, because reasons. So let's grab the chips, put them in here. All right, and then we've got, do we have a closet? Yes, we have a closet with nothing in it. We've also got an upstairs to search. Lock and Seed says, uh, survival is my favorite option because you can customize all the settings, including whether or not you start with a backpack and weapons. Oh, interesting. Okay, I didn't realize that. I'm just going to keep stealing curtains. They're the main thing this place has to offer. It's like a really stripped down house. It makes me wonder, do they like precede certain houses as being starter houses and deliberately give them very little stuff? Or do they actually like blank out a house when they spawn me in it? I'm going to have so many sheets. I I don't know why I've decided to prioritize having all the sheets as being my deal. I guess it's just because that's what's available in this house. And this is where I'm starting. And nothing more interesting has happened yet. So let's start heading north. And let's see if we can get some gasoline to use in that car. Though again, like... I might want some practice hot wiring a car. Like if I see another car around here that seems drivable, I'll definitely try to put my uh, burglary skills to use. I'll also see if I have better luck. Oh wait, is it starting to rain? What? It's starting to rain. Okay, so am I better at opening windows? Maybe not this particular window. Nope, I think it's like I've broken the lock. Okay, what about this one? Because while I've got sheets that I can use as bandages, it would be nice if I had more medical stuff and a little bit more food, probably. So let's poke around in this building. Now, I should probably have my baseball bat out. So in my personal game that I don't stream, um, I had a character who was doing miraculously well. Like, they had gotten really close. Oh, good. Pens and pencils. Very valuable. Uh, they had gotten very close to, um, to like, you know, getting themselves a working car and stuff like that. But actually, well, actually, the thing that mattered the most was that they had... Oh, yeah, what I was trying to say was they got very close to death. That's what I was trying to say. They got very close to death. And, um... Sorry, I'm getting distracted. I'm trying to talk while... Oh, snow shovel? What? Okay, snow shovel... I don't care if it's good or bad. Snow shovel is my new weapon. Dropping that baseball bat. Let's go snow shovel. Uh, but anyway, what happened? So I, I, I nursed this character back to health uh, after he had like a really harrowing zombie encounter. He had one pixel of health left. And I got him all the way back. And then I found a pickaxe. And I was like making a lot of progress. Like I had some caches of supplies everywhere. I was feeling really, really good. And then, oh, let me um have a drink here. And then I just, I, I went into, I think it was like a high school. Uh, do I not have a, oh, I just haven't drunk from my water bottle. I think it was like a high school. Um, I think I went into like a locker room or something in high school. And suddenly there were like just eight zombies that dragged me inside. And this game does not have like a dodge through a crowd of zombies button. At least not that I'm aware of. Uh, the kind of thing that we have in State of Decay. And so I couldn't get out. Like once I was surrounded by those zombies, that was it. I was screwed. And so we just got suddenly killed despite a lot of success, which is just kind of how this game works. Um, again, I'm just, for some reason, I am the sheet collector. I don't know what my deal is.
Oh, interesting. So, all right. So, Lockenstein is pointing out that when I'm taking down these curtains, they basically turn into sheets. And then when I want to put them back up, if I want to put them back up as curtains, they come up as the, like, the sort of um, improvised-looking curtains. But he says that if I use this icon over here, this gives me, like, furniture manipulation tools, which allow me to take down curtains and retain them as curtains. That's interesting. So it's not, not a huge priority for me, because I actually do also use them as bandages and stuff. So having them just sort of turn into generic sheets is is fine for me. <laughs> okay, he's not very good at climbing these things. Okay, this is an open door. Does that mean that my previous character came through here? Uh, might be. It is kind of bright. Of course, I've had so many characters in this game. It's hard for me to be sure where I've been and where I haven't. I've forgotten most of what happened in the past. So I think I'm just going to keep moving. I'm, I've, I've scavenged some stuff. I think if I get hungry, I've got a few things I can eat. I'm starting to get tired from all this climbing. Oh, there's a zombie. Let's try out my uh, fancy new snow shovel. Oh, I'm getting hungry. Okay, not bad. Let's steal this guy's watch. It's 1150, and it looks like I want to eat. So let's uh, let's just chow down on some lettuce. Mmm, delicious lettuce. Anything that says fresh on it, I like to eat it as early as I can so my character enjoys it more. I don't want it to have a ch t chance to get stale. Dr. Lackensee says that it's it's appropriate for me to have forgotten what happened in the past in this game because I am playing a new character uh, who would not know those things anyway. That is true. But mysteriously, they do get to retain each other's map notes, but that's fine. I'm not complaining about that. I make a lot of use of that. That actually gives this game a lot of the same benefits as, like, roguelike type experiences where you can accumulate successes over time that make things easier. But th this also has a downside to it, which is, you know, you also accumulate having scavenged places. Um, and as su at some point, I mean, these ta this map is huge. It it'll be hard to run out of things to scavenge. But in a particular area, you can run out of things to scavenge. And, uh, and you have to start doing something that's self-sustaining, I imagine. Okay, I don't know if there's zombies in here, so I need to be careful magazine in there. Oh, crap! Okay, yep. See you later. <laughs> so, that kind of thing is what happened to my other character in the Bridesmaid game. And, uh, it didn't go as well. I just got grabbed by the zombies and that was it for me. So I'm just gonna let those zombies... Actually, you know what? I should... Since they're not near me right now, and since I've got a pen, let's put a little... Don't go in there. <laughs> That's a bad place. <laughs> so I can, I can remember that in the future. I don't think those zombies are going to chase me. I don't think they know where I am now. Whoa, frack! Famous last words. <laughs> All right. I mean, I don't know if those are the same zombies. Those might have been different zombies. I don't know. But, uh... Oh, this is interesting. A barricaded place. There might be good stuff in here. I don't know. Does barricaded mean there's good stuff in there? I think I should probably drop these planks. I don't need them. Not yet, anyway. Okay, somebody is in here doing some stuff. I'm ready to shovel them in the face. Okay, let's, uh... Let's turn off this TV. Gotta be in here, right? There they are. Alright. 
Nothing special. He's got matches. Actually, he's got matches. I don't know if... I never needed matches, but I've also never had matches. I'm grabbing some matches. What else we got? Oh, okay. Yeah, we got all kinds of nice stuff here. So, club hammer, hand axe. Okay, so I think I want to attach this to my belt. Hammers are a dime a dozen. There's just so many hammers in the game. We don't need hammers. And then, how do I compare the snow shovel? It does really high damage to this regular shovel. Also does high damage... This was 0.45 encumbrance, 1.5. Okay, I think my snow shovel is actually better, so I'm not going to grab this shovel. Um, canned food, you know, I'm going to a place where canned food, like, I can actually, I, I've left, I've left a can opener where I'm headed. Okay, let's just, let's just eat this ice cream right now before it goes bad. Mmm, delicious dead man's ice cream. And then let's actually... Where was the place where the weapons were? Let's grab my old hammer. And stick it in there. Now, this shovel might be useful for gardening. If I ever... Actually, that might be an argument for holding this instead of using the show, snow shovel. Because if I manage to get this character into a position where gardening is a thing he can do... He can do it with this, and I don't think he can do it with the... Uh, Snow shovel. Maybe I will. Maybe I will switch this. Even though this shovel is heavier, I think I'll switch it. Um, and let's put this in the cupboard. Okay, got a different shovel now. And let's mark the map that this is a place where I have dropped weapons. Where is a good weapon? Uh, sort of. I'd love to say that it's melee weapons, though, not guns. I've already used this to mean, like, gas station. I wish I could draw... Oh, there's an axe right there. There's an axe. Okay, so there's cool weapons here. If I've got another character that I start here, they can come here to get fancy weapons. Oh, bunch of freaking zombies. Okay, well, let's leave through a different, different exit then. Oh, wait, this one's barricaded. I've only got one legit exit, which is hiding... Over here. Yes. And I'm closing the door because I hit the wrong button. Uh, climb through. There we go. Oh, Dr. Lackensee says he likes using the dollar sign for stashes. That, that could work. It's interesting they give me this like weird little array of, uh, of icons, and then I have to figure out how to use them. I wonder if I'm having better luck with these windows because I'm a... Oh, wow! Oh, there's a bunch more stuff. So, I, I think I've got a lot of this... Oh, a tire pump. That looks really valuable, though. There's so much good stuff in here. I'm going to keep this tire pump. Do I need a wood axe? I've already, I've already got an axe, I think, over at my stash. Oh, there's so much good stuff here. Screwdrivers are useful for dismantling things. That might be worth grabbing, but I, I, I also got another screwdriver back at my other stash. What's in this? Is it wire, light bulb, okay, nothing huge. So, all right, let's. I'm just gonna keep marking the map. Hey, guess what? There's a bunch of weapony stuff around here. But we're gonna keep going north. Oh, hello. Let's try out our new shovel. Oh, oh, get shoved with my shovel. Yeah. Nice. Oh, frack. <laughs> okay, I love the shovel. So I got this one character, uh, like I said, who who had a pickaxe in uh, in one of my personal games that I that I haven't been streaming, and the pickaxe is freaking amazing. You just brain zombies, just right out of the gate. It's awesome. I need to get in somewhere where I can check my map without feeling like um, I'm about to get attacked. Let's see if this next house is a place I can sort of hole up for a sec. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. That's a, that's a lot of you. How do I feel about this? Um, I feel like going this direction. 
I mean, yeah, with the shovel, I could probably handle four zombies, but... I could also decide not to handle them. Okay. Clearly, a version of me has already been here. I don't know if the zombies are going to figure out where I went. They're unpredictable like that. Oh, crap. Okay, hold on. If it's only the one person out here, then I can kill them, close the window, and then close the curtains. I don't know if that guy was coming after me or not. I might be coming after this TV, actually. And it's kind of quiet, though, so maybe not. Anyway, I mostly just wanted to have a place where I could check the map without immediately getting killed. So, okay, I'm real close. I'm real close to the motel. I need to get through this one block, and then, oh, okay. Oh, fracking! Heck! Oh, of course. Got a laceration now. I cannot easily run away from this crew. Okay, okay. All right, okay, laceration. We've got to, what do we got to do? I like my sheets. Let's steal somebody's underpants? No. What do we want? What do we want? T-shirt. Grab. Actually, I don't need to grab it. I can just rip it directly. Rip clothing. And then... Oh, crap. Another person. Take this and that down on the ground. There you go. Smush. All right. Anyway. Let's bandage this sucker. All right. All right. All right. Um... Anybody in here? Nope. Okay, so this is not the safe house I thought it was. Let's have a drink real quick. The character is freaked the heck out right now. So Dr. Lackenstein points out that this game, uh, one thing it is lacking is that it doesn't tell you how fast a weapon is to swing. So it'll tell you how much damage it does, but if there's some weapons that are faster than others, which does raise their damage potential, uh, it doesn't give you that information. So I couldn't, like, if, for instance, this shovel is, does the same damage as a snow shovel, but it's quicker to swing, that makes it better in combat. But I don't I don't know if that's the case one way or the other. Ooh. If this truck is viable, it's nice. Let's check out what it looks like mechanically. While listening for zombies... It's an okay shape. The tires aren't great. Nothing in the gas tank. But what is the key situation? I don't have a key. No key in the glove compartment. Oh, oh, but there is a map to read. A new Louisville map, which means if I zoom all the way out, I've got Another little chunk of Louisville. Louisville is freaking huge, by the way. It's so freaking enormous. Is that all that's in here? Let's see. Oh, oh, we got some proper bandages. Pull that in here. Oh, actually, can I use bandages when they're in a backpack, or do I need to have them on my like in my pockets? Not sure there. And how am I doing with... Do I only have stuff I need here? I've got a dirty rag I should probably fix. Matches, I don't think I need immediately. Everything else here seems good to have out. Okay, so the question is... Oh, oh, wait! I was going to try to learn to hotwire something, but I think if it doesn't have gas, it doesn't matter if I hotwire it. Oh. Okay. Fine. The alarm went off. It's attracting all the zombies. I'm just going to go up this way. I have killed a lot of zombies up this way because I've been, you know, this is where my characters have been operating primarily. Anything special? A lighter. Seems cool. Okay, so everybody is alerted now. Everybody's trying to murder me now. Luckily, I've got a freaking awesome weapon. I 
I think if I get enough distance between me and that house. Now, that house might have had something cool in it. Like, it could have had keys to that truck, for instance, which would have been great. But, that's just a thing to worry about later. I've already got a pristine car picked out. Don't need that one. Oh, so Dr. Lexi says that usually you can use items that, are, that exist in your backpack. Why are there... Man, did that house alarm really just attract everyone in this direction from all over the map? Okay, so my usual strategy here is to pull the zombies south. Abandon them there. But this shovel is actually... No! Get off. Shovel's actually pretty effective at killing them. I might be able to sort of pick them off as they charge me. the whole group and it's sort of was any of those like my previous character i wasn't paying attention to that oh this guy with the t yes okay christopher's key ring yes one of these guys was my previous character i dropped my hammer but i think there were more hammers over there i'm you know what i'm grabbing this hammer just in case but i don't think i need it and i'm tired and hungry so let's stay up a little bit longer to check out what Christopher left for us. So here's Christopher. So Christopher left a car full of stuff and also some backpacks full of stuff. So for instance, a can opener. That's really helpful. Let me grab that. And a hand torch. That's really valuable. The wrench and the screwdriver, I just don't know. I don't know if there's a value to those. But maybe we can put anything that seems super valuable oh yeah there's more hammers and a shotgun all kinds of good stuff here um but you know what i don't actually need i don't need to grab everything yet because my goal right now is actually to get gas now where did i aha yes gas so gas cans are heavy and actually you know what let's not carry both of them Let's only carry one. We only need one gas can. Hey, stop. Keep the one gas can. Um, let's look at Christopher's key ring. Oh, Christopher's key ring had nothing. Okay, well, then we'll just drop it. Um, is there anything else that seemed unmissable here? I don't think so. The trunk of this car has got a gas can in it. It's got a bunch of ammo and weapons. There's also a shotgun lying here on the ground. But once I get the actual car that I'm planning on bringing with me... Um, I can collect all that stuff and put it in the new car's trunk. So, oh wait. So let's get me in better physical shape. Because yeah, I'm carrying too much right now. Actually, ooh, I'm carrying too much. Let's, let's see what I can drop in here that is not gas. I mean, obviously, okay, Louisville map, that can just go on the ground. I've already read it. Um, the lighter... Okay, that can go in the trunk. That's not very heavy, though. Uh, oh, the canned food. I've got a can opener. I can eat the canned food. That will make a difference. Oh, the tire pump. Tire pump, definitely. I don't need to carry that around with me everywhere. I was trying to get my base encumbrance lower. You know what? All these sheets. I don't need all these sheets. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know how heavy they are. I might not be making a huge difference. I'm going to eat this canned food. What I want to do is, like, when I go get this other car, I want to make sure... Okay, good. 
that I'm unencumbered. I don't want to just be getting exhausted the whole time. You can see I've spent a lot of time around here. There's just so many freaking dead bodies. All right. Well, there was a good room up here with only one dead body in it. Uh, very impressive. So let's... Let's see here. Can I open this can of evaporated milk? Do I want to drink evaporated milk? Okay, so I have to get them both out of the backpack to use them. And let's also open the canned tuna. So now I've got... Evapor yeah, evaporated milk helps with both thirst and hunger. So we're going to drink the whole thing. Drink, 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 drink. Delicious. And then I'm going to eat this tuna. Uh, this tuna is so good. Yum, 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 yum. All right. I am all full up. Now I'm going to wash one of my bandages. And then I'm going to take a nap. Get my character nice and less tired. Oh, I'm freaked out and scared. I'm scared of the dark. No, why am I so scared? Is it because the lights were off? Nope, they were on. Um, I wonder why I was so scared exactly. I mean, I've slept in places before. Is it, was it the dead body in the room? Because that have something to do with it? Hey there, uh, Falstar and Orthaus. Um, and uh, yeah, Dr. Lackenstein is saying that, that meal of um, evaporated milk and tuna is making his stomach turn. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm kind of surprised that I, what I don't have here is the queasy moodlet. That, that would make more sense. <laughs> but whatever. Okay, so now I have got a gas can. I have got the skills of a burglar. So... What I'm going to do now is head east, <clears throat> east to that spot. There is an awesome car over there, and I'm going to get it. But, oh, wait a minute. What state is this car in? Could I just drive this car over to that car? Yep, this car's in decent shape, too. In fact... Why don't I just take this car? Why go for the extra? I mean, yeah, that car over there was nice. This car's not bad, though. Let's let's fill this car with gas. Let's just skip. Let's skip the middleman. Uh, Admiral plays asked if I have the smoker trait. Uh, I do not. Uh, I felt actually kind of discouraged from taking that trait. Uh, because it sounded like it would be really annoying. You, you do find cigarettes in this game, but not a lot. I'm going to grab this other gas can. I'm assuming that the two gas cans... Like, how... Okay, how much... I just put a full gas can in here. How much did I fill the tank? I assume this is going to tell me. 22%. Okay, so this, this thing could take almost five gas cans. So maybe... I should just collect as much gas as I possibly can. <laughs> can. So Lockenstein is saying, I'm getting to the point where I should probably choose a home base. Uh, yeah, so I don't even know, like, what's a good home base in this game? Like, it seems like, I mean, I found some good places to spend the night around here. Oh, what? But that's a little different. It's like, what makes a place a lo good long-term place to, like, fortify, keep returning to, keep a stash in? Like, how... What makes you, you know, think of a place as being a good a good base? So Fallstar suggests that a place with an upstairs is a good idea. I imagine because it's more defensible and because zombies can't see you through the downstairs windows when you're spending a lot of your time upstairs. Okay. Fallstar says if I can find the fire station, that's a good choice. I haven't seen a fire station yet, I don't think. 
Admiral plays anywhere with says anywhere with pre-made high high walls as well. So do you think like because there's like suburban houses that have high walls? Um, are you thinking that like a suburban house with high walls would be a good choice, or or what? Or, or, or do you do I want something secluded? Do I want to try to find something that isn't in a neighborhood? Okay, so yeah, Fallstar says that they think that the uh, the fire station is tucked into a neighborhood somewhere. So Admiral Place says that the pre-made high walls are literally indestructible, and so they're a good place to start when it comes to setting up defenses. That makes sense. Yeah, because Lock and Seed is pointing out that zombies can jump short fences, but they can't jump tall fences. I've been using that. I've been using... Um, chain link fences and, and stuff like that in order to lose zombies when I needed to lose zombies. So what I did was I filled the vehicle with as many full gas cans as I could. Um, oh, it can't fit that. Okay, so I need to pull something out of here. I'm going to pull out the drugs bag. <laughs> Stick the gas can in there. And then you can use the seats of the car for storage too, can't you? I just realized that. So... Here, I'm just gonna grab. I'm gonna grab way too much stuff. I'm just gonna be holding absurd amounts of things. But then I'm gonna get into this car. Wait, am I gonna get into this car? It just occurred to me. I've got no idea if I can get into this car. I can't. Okay, hold on. Smash rear left window. So now I'm in the car. <laughs> Um, okay, so driver's seat. So can I stick things in the seats? Can I be like, tool bag in the seat? Yes. Drugs bag in the other seat. Book bag in this seat. Yeah, all right. And... Front right seat, I mean, that's where shotguns go, right? Front right seat is where you always put a shotgun. That's why it's called shotgun. And now I'm under 12. Oh, wait. Oh, I broke my... I busted my hand. Hold on. I didn't notice that I busted my hand. Hold on. Let's bandage that sucker. I guess we'll remove this bandage. And bandage this. Okay, I've got updated bandages. I should probably go wash and get get some more water and eat a little bit more food. I think I've just got some chips, which will be good enough. And then I think we're ready to get on the road. Oh, I think I left a few more things in this room, too. Maybe I could steal. Uh, so let's, let's see. Let's clean my rag. Let's drink some water. Let's fill my water bottle. And then, did I leave? I think I left some food in here. Oh, there's a leather jacket here. And military boots. Those are good for protection. I'm going to wear these. There's a metal bar that would make a good weapon. But I think I'm, I think I'm covered when it comes to weapons. Ah, but here are the canned foods. Let's take the canned foods... We'll eat some of it. And whatever. Let's take the potato seeds too. And then... Let's... Open the canned carrots. Oh, he puts the... Oh, he puts the tool back. Nice. Oh, I'm a little sad. I need to elevate my mood. I had a bunch of empty tin cans. I don't need this. But I'm not quite full yet. So let's open the canned chili as well. We'll eat the canned chili. And then I haven't been collecting those magazines for nothing. Let's read, let's read a magazine real quick. See if that helps my mood at all. I think the magazines, 
They reduce boredom and they reduce stress. I, I don't know if that really... That's not the same as sadness. I think I, I think I might need to drink. Honestly. Dr. Lackenstein says that uh, he's having a bad feeling about my character's anxiety. What kinds of what kind of feeling are you talking about? Oh, so Admiral Place is saying that if I occupy those seats, my character can't get in on those sides. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, I'm just gonna eat these chips too. Character just is eating his troubles away. Okay. All right, I think we're good. Ah, uh, you were a great motel room. I love you. But I'm gonna find a new place to live. This town is dead to me. I've been playing in Moldrop for so long. This town is dead to me. Let me see. What else do I want to throw in the back here? Will the will the sheets go? Cool. Uh, my old sneakers don't need those. Let's stick the potato. Wait, no, the potato seeds. Oh, the potato seeds in the car, in case I start gardening at some point. Wait, come on, potato seeds, in car. There we go. Um. The canned corn and potato, that can go... Oh, it can't fit in the car. Okay, we're going to get in the car. So I've still not... Oh, wait. Okay, so I want to... How do I move to the driver's seat? So this is... A, so I, I've loaded up the two right seats, but I'm in the rear seat. How do I change seats? Is there like a right-clicking option? Admiral Play says Z. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. So now I'm in the front seat. So now the other seats are available. And I can reach the glove box, which also has random stuff in it, including an... Have I already used that annotated map? Huh. I think I haven't. So this is telling me about a place called March Ridge. Left my old tools here. Won't need them anymore. And it's also got a map of Louisville. Which might expand my knowledge of Louisville. Let's stick these back in the glove box. And then where did I stick food? Ah, right there. Well, no. I haven't stuck food anywhere. Well, I'm going to stick some food over here next to me. Okay, so now the question is, can I start this engine? Okay. Okay. Wait, hold on. How do I hotwire a car, everybody? <laughs> My character's a burglar. He's supposed to be able to hotwire a car. I see no indication of how to do that. Is it under vehicle mechanics? I went this whole way expecting this character to be able to hotwire a car. I have no idea how to do that. This doesn't seem to be it. Lock and Scene says V brings up vehicle options. Okay, it's like from the front seat. V? What? Of course it does. Okay, sure. Hotwire engine. Oh, so now I've got... It's hot-wired. So does this mean that future characters will be able to use it? I think maybe so. What, what are my other vehicle options? Mechanics. Sleep in the vehicle. Exit vehicle. Unlock all doors. Open window. Device device option for like playing the radio. Horn. AC and heater. Headlights. Oh, I've got so many options here. Well, let's, let's see if we can start the engine. Or do I... I don't have to click anything. I just... Oh my gosh, look! Look, everybody! I'm driving a car! I can't see a dang thing, but I'm driving a car! Oh, there's freaking zombies up ahead. Okay, so. We're not leaving quite yet. 
I want this mist to be gone before we leave. So we're going to go try to find a place to rest and make my character a little happier. Um, is there like a restaurant in this place that might have like beer or something like that? Because that's always a good way to uh, to deal with your sadness. Um, oh, fresh potatoes. Seems valuable. Sugar packet, absolutely. Um, baking soda, baking tray. Rotten pork chop. No, not getting a lot of great ketchup. That's cool. Rathcourt says, maybe my first drive shouldn't be drunk. Okay, fine. I'm just trying to figure out something to do with this guy. While I'm waiting for time to pass. I'm fill my water bottle. Have a drink. Am I, is any of my stuff bloody? No? Okay, I don't need to wash anything. I feel like maybe my first pass through, like in the future, maybe my first pass through a level should involve just like bringing a burglar in and just hot wiring literally every car <laughs> so that future characters can get the benefits of it. Oh, hi. Oh, crap. I don't have a weapon equipped. Hold on. Watch me get this character killed right before he gets the chance to take off. Um, so, Lackenstein was saying that he was worried about my character's anxiety. I'm curious, what, what can go wrong when a character is, like, full of fear? When they're, like, a nervous wreck? What does that, what does that mean? What does that lead to? This is another place where I've spent the night before. It doesn't have anything great inside. Lockenstein says, me zombifying. Wait, what do you mean? Does that mean? Are you saying that you think that one of my wounds might be a bite? And I just haven't noticed? That one's scratched. Ranithcord suggests that I might just be awkward at parties. Yeah, oh man, my, my character would be thrilled if there was a party right now. That has implications. Alright, is there a place, like, is there a mini bar? Like, <laughs> there's nothing in these places. Except probably zombies waiting to ambush me. I mean, it makes sense. These are motel rooms. People don't leave a lot of stuff in motel rooms. Is there any, like, happy... Oh, orange soda! Orange soda makes everyone happy! Oh, interesting. So Dr. Lockenstein says that actually... A bite guarantees me turning, but apparently any, any injury that is like bleeding could mean that, that I could turn. That's it. I hadn't realized that. I assumed that it was just bites, that I was safe unless, unless I'd been bitten. So let's... I mean, that, uh, yeah, that unless I admit uh, that, I mean, I, I'm never safe in this world, but you know what I mean. I'm going to quickly check my map again. So where, okay, so Louisville is a long ways away, but I have tried to drive this direction before in a different game and got very lost. But this spot right here, whatever the March something, I've never been here. This might be a, a less ambitious direction to go. And maybe, like I said, I've only ever played in Muldraw. And so I don't know what another town is going to be like. But I think that's probably what I want to do. So yeah, my... Unfortunately, I can't just... Oh, hey. Oh, good. Check it out. The uh, the fog is clearing. 
That's really all I wanted, was just to wait until the fog cleared. So, all right, let me... Here, I'm going to catch up with the chat real quick. I think I'm going to do an episode break, because we've been doing this for, like, nearly an hour. Uh, I'm going to do an episode break, and then the next episode is going to be my drive to whatever that town was called. <laughs> Mar March something, I think. Um, let's see here. Oh, hey, La Coalition showed up. Good to have you here. Um... Okay, so yeah, Admiral Place is, uh, says apparently a laceration is like a 25% chance of zombifying. And so are you saying that like severe unexplained anxiety is like a, a potential symptom of zombification? So a character could be on the road to zombification without realizing they're on the road to zombification. Um, but then uh, oh, that's, that has really interesting implications for multiplayer games. So I'm planning on playing some uh, some uh, zomboid multiplayer um in the new year uh, with some of my coworkers. And it sounds really interesting. The idea that you might like conceal a zombification wound and not tell people about it and then become a zombie in the middle of the group. Just like that sounds like potential or like not even know that you're going to turn into a zombie. And then suddenly you turn into a zombie. That sounds amazing. So Lockenstein says that, yeah, hygiene is huge if you get scratched. So I have been religiously changing my dirty bandages fairly often. Um, one thing I have not always been doing is disinfecting because it's hard to get disinfected. Um, and so whenever I do get disinfected, I've been definitely disinfecting ones that I knew were infected. Um, but I haven't necessarily always been like religious about uh, disinfecting every single wound. But maybe I need to start trying to trying to be that way. Lock and see says there are medical checks in multiplayer. Like, you can check each other over to see if you are zombifying. That that does sound pretty cool. Okay, let's wrap up this episode and start a new one immediately. So, uh, there's a subscribe button for YouTube people later on. Uh, here's links to other videos, including the new one we're about to make right now, where I'm actually going to drive to that town in the southwest. Or try to. <laughs>